Hello, welcome to this next video. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put this one. This is a bit of a miscellaneous um, little hints and tips video, I think. Um, and also showing uh, an unreasonably successful touchdown, uh, which happened. Um, I'm going to... This, this, so this is a game I played last night uh, with my Bretonian team. Uh, we have a bit of a ladder. Uh, it's the same, mostly the, the same people who play in um, the Dented Shield League. Um, so Lord Tarquin here, who's playing uh, Kemri in the current season, uh, Vampires in Seasons 1 and 2. Um, playing Dark Elves here. I'm uh, with Bretonians. Uh, this is a game we played last night. Finished 2 all. Um, lots of lots of touchdowns. A uh, few injuries. Uh, but it was fun. And I want to show a few bits from it because there are some fun little scenarios uh, I just wanted to, to, to show. Um, firstly, I mentioned every time somebody sets up um, with people just one step back uh, on defence, balls are being kicked down this way. But every time someone sets up on defence with players just one step away from from, uh, from the halfway line, I point out that's not a great idea in case there's a quick snap. And if ever I'm um, receiving the ball against someone who's set up like this, I will try and exploit that to get extra hits. So it's not just these three line of scrimmage hits I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to get. So I set up like that, and uh, the kickoff happens, <clears throat> and we get a quick snap. So what I'm doing, uh, and I deployed these people here specifically trying to do this, um, trying to get extra hits available here. So I've got this lineman who can move in here, so I can get two two dice hits on these two players. So there's a lineman and a witch elf over here, um, and I'm. I'm trying to score back as well after conceding one nil going one nil down. So I want to score on this flank. Um, so we immediately get roll into extra two dice hits. So I'm going to get five two dice hits apart from the three I should just be getting on the on the line of scrimmage, um, and that could be undone. Uh, that having to wrestle there was a bit annoying because it means that lineman has to go over here for another two dice hit. Um, and before I go off of uh, block and wrestle blocks, I'm going to um, make that move. Uh, so it's an injury that the Dark Elf player coach um, shouldn't have received because they shouldn't have been blocked. Uh, and they're just a pushback on that witch elf. Um, two dice there. Have to re-roll that. And this is one of the blocks that should have happened anyway, but it's a knockout. Um, but yeah, the extra hits were were, were quite telling there. Um, so ball's, ball's quite safe back here. Have to make a one dice blitz up here to give myself another two dice on this switch off. That works out okay. Risk Very risky without a re-roll. But yeah, then another two dice on the witch elf, which is just a pushback. But it sort of opened up this flank. Um, Dark elves already no were were eleven players before that as well. Um, uh, yeah. So, but that was that was just highlighting again that thing of standing just one square back leaves you vulnerable to more hits. And if you're out strengthening your opponent, it might be it might be fine leaving that on. Um, but dark elves aren't out strengthening Bretonians, uh, and I was able to get more hits in there than I technically should have been. Um, I'm just going to skip on now to see, uh, hang on, gone right slightly too far. Right, so, oh, there's a ball. We'll go a bit further on. Yeah, so what happened is, made a pass over here, which I think leveled this blitzer, it did. Uh, this blitzer failed to go for it over here. I was trying to get just extra squares to Force Dark Elves to, to throw more dice, um, but yeah, Felma goes for it. I think re rolled it and still failed. Um, but what we actually want to see um, is the touchdown, the results from this, because this is the unreasonable touchdown. Let's get a shot. Look out on that, on that uh, blocker. Let's try and. Yeah, so Dark Elf player does pretty well here of just trying to tie up the ball. Um, so a witch elf and a blitz are coming back there. Tries to go for it, but crucially leaves this blitzer on the touchline um, and trusts that I'm going to find it too risky to throw a two dice uphill block. Um, 
which is not the case. Um, let's let's let this turn. It's it's this turn where it happens. Um, yeah, so the, the unreasonable touchdown is that this blitzer scores this turn from that position. Um, I had no one else who could reach over here, so it was a bit of a throwaway move at the end of my turn. Um, I've got some other two dice blocks first. These are obviously far less risky. And here we are up here. So it gets the pushback. So I needed that to happen. That's another knockout as well. Then it's three plus dodge, which is failed. Uh, team reroll. Um, and then it's four plus pickup, three plus dodge, and a go for it as well uh, to get that in. That's quite a fun touchdown to score. We had um, our Cavs Dwarf player in the league scored a. Um, unreasonable touchdown with a ball centre earlier in the week uh, so I've got to see if that one was better or worse uh, one other thing to, to show later in the game as well are two, two in fact uh, and I'm going to skip on ahead to those now so this is later in the same half uh, of that game I've uh, I turned over the ball and have uh, had it knocked out of my hands again uh, this blitzer was carrying it um, so here I need to work out um, if I'm going to score in turn 8, how I'm going to move both of these Dark Elves away from the ball so that I've got an easier time picking it up. Um, and I thought it would be nice to treat it as a bit of a puzzle. Um, and yeah, see see if you can have a look. So feel free to pause the video, uh, see if you can work it out. It involves chain pushing, uh, I'll, I'll leave as a little clue. Um, so let's have a look at how it's done. Um, and what, I'm, what I need to look out for is, so uh, T-shapes uh, and boxes are where you can get chain pushes. So I want to be able to hit this player into this one, uh, get a knockdown with that one, push that one there away from the ball and away from this blitzer who can pick up the ball, give it to this, this bodyguard. So I don't want to use either of these players um, in moving these. I want them both free so I can hand off and score. So what I need to do is make this into a T-shape which involves putting this blocker in that square using this blitzer to hit that lineman into that one and push him there because that square and that square are both taken up I can choose which square I push this one back into which is that lineman who goes there uh, and that's what I did so bodyguard goes in there or blocker they're called blockers aren't they lineman just on the ball just for security uh, and then that blitzer comes down and hits this lineman, gets the knockdown, which is, which is fortunate, and pushes that line away. Um, I can't think if anything else happens. Yeah, so unfortunately then I don't pick up the ball, um, so don't manage to score this turn, but did create the situation where I could have done had I managed to pick up the ball and then hand it off. It was two three plus rolls for, for a touchdown. Um, and that was just before half time. So same game, uh, late, much later on, second half. So uh, it was one or half time. I was receiving um, a blitz was rolled on the kickoff table, which completely turned around uh, where the drive was heading. Dark Hills very much had me on the back, back foot, but I've managed to get a lot of them off the pitch without getting the ball really anywhere. It's changed possession a few times, it was over here, got thrown by the crowd over here. Uh, this blitzer just found a dodge roll from there to there, holding the ball, dropped it there. Um, so I need to pick up the ball, get it to this blitzer, which is why I'm throwing a blitz with that blocker on this lineman. I'll shut this blitzer the ball, run away with it and score. But I make a bit of an error and before I do that, I don't need all of these players to move the ball to here. So these two players, I should have probably one there and one there. They need to mark these two players. But I don't do that. And what happens... So that, that's a knockdown, that's fine. So it's the first chance I had to do that. Second chance I had to do that is before I try and move the ball. Which is with this player who doesn't pick it up. 
fails it fails it on a reroll. So neither of these players had to do had had to do anything to do with moving the ball to this blitzer. They should have been marking in here. Um, I don't. I fail the pick up, which is a stupid mistake. You need to make safer moves first um, for more security. And this is almost certainly a touchdown at this point. This blitzer just needs to hit this this bodyguard away. Pick up the ball and run it in, which is what happens. And that makes it 2-1. So I do get the ball back. I do score and make it 2-2. But that was my attacking drive and yeah, it went wrong. And that was sort of the, the, the final moment where things things didn't work properly. Yeah, so so the lesson for that for me is just always make those safe moves first to make make sure the ball's safe because the ball was not safe when uh, when the the blocker dropped it, whichever one it was. Charles the Inconvenient, I think it was. I don't know which one. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I think I always use him because he was going to level uh, with the pass. But yeah, that was that was just just a few um, interesting things that happened in that game last night. I thought it would be fun to share. Um, I, I, and I don't know where I'm going to put this. Probably might just put it in the tactics focus because it's probably the most appropriate place. Yeah, I've just decided that now. Um, but yeah, I, I I did have some more ideas for things for this playlist. Um, but yeah, nothing's really working out that well. So. There may be some more uh, at a later date, but um, but for now, that is all.